you're fed up of working for the man, you want to set up your own business online, but how do you do it, particularly if you've got low or no capital? Well, in this five part series, I'm going to walk you through how to set up your business online the right way to help make you have a success right from the start. So I'm going to be checking on my notes when I look down because that's how I roll. Because actually a bonus tip right at the beginning is go for progress over perfectionism. You don't need all the things, you don't need the tech, you don't need anything to get started. What you need to get started is focus. So you need to decide on what your focus is going to be for your business. And there's three elements that I always suggest you look at for this. The first is what are you passionate about? What's number one? Like, what can you talk about endlessly? What are you known for? What do you really love doing? What's that passion that fires you up, lights you up, and you can talk about it endlessly? In fact, it doesn't feel like work at all. It is pure joy when you're doing this. That passion is what we need to harness for the focus of your business. Because I'm not going to lie, running your own business, it's hard work. It's a roller coaster. You will be going up and down the whole time through this journey. And if you don't have the passion underneath, you're not going to get anywhere. You're going to give up. You're going to be part of that statistics of the first three years is when most business owners fail. And it's normally because they're not doing it for the right reasons. They're not following their passion. So that's the first part of part one. So I'm doing part one, part A, B and C. The first one A is passion. One B is your prowess. It's the three P's here. So what have you been researching, doing for years? It kind of links in to your passion. But also, what are your experience and your credentials? What qualifications do you have behind you? Because if you've done a qualification and accreditation, you've done multiple courses on something, you're focused. You, that's something you're passionate about and the clues are there. Don't run away from things just because you go, I want to switch it all up. I want to change the whole thing. No, we do still need to base your business, the focus of your business on your credentials and qualifications and life experience. But we want to get that woven in with your passion as well. So that's your passion and your prowess, which is 1A and 1B. Part 1-3 is your personality. And the personality piece is far more important than a lot of people give it credit for. I'm introverted in nature. Therefore, I'm probably more aware of this than my extrovert extroverted business buddies. Because when you're introverted in nature, it's not because you're shy or socially inadequate. Far from it quite often. But what it does mean is your energies need to be contained and boundaried. You need time alone. You might often need quiet as well to really sort of ramp up and be your best self. You like to pre-plan and think about things like I have before recording this session. I've got my notes in front of me because I was like, I want to stay on track and share you these three Ps and not forget a point. But also, I'm doing progress over perfectionism because I don't want to do multiple edits and I don't see why you should. It should be natural. I know what I'm talking about. I know I do because I've been talking about it for 22 years. That's part of my credentials. I was born as one of those original digital nomads with the advent of the internet flying as I was moving around worldwide. But even as a kid, way back when, I lived in Seattle and I lived in Australia and I was having to move and move again and reinvent myself. So this is why I know focus is really, really important in your business. And if you're introverted, that might be more inward planning. If you're extroverted, then you're going to want to get out there and talk to people and share your ideas. And you'll get energised by the more you talk to people and 
that will feed into your business because then you'll hear a lot of people going, that's a good idea. I want that. How can I get that? And an extrovert, when they're setting up their business, needs to involve lots of interaction. An extrovert running a high tech company where it's just, you know, computer programming, very rarely ever come across an extroverted computer programmer. Why? Because computer programming takes that deep inward thought that introverts are generally better at doing. There are always exceptions to every rule as well. And as your bonus tip for your focus as well, because remember, we're not looking at tech, we're not looking at platforms, we're not looking at your audience, we're not doing any of that to get started. But at the start, we're looking at your focus, your passion, your personality, and your prowess, your credentials. We need to know why should we listen to you? What makes you shine? And are you willing to get visible doing that? Because you won't have a business if you don't get visible. That is where I'm gonna leave part one of this series of how to start your business online with little or no capital. So this is part one of five. Do subscribe and follow and check out the next part where I am going to dive into, should it be a personal name or a business name? See you in the next episode.